Today's video is about audio solutions for the Insta360 ONE RS, but this also applies to the Insta360 ONE R and the X2, um, because a lot of it uh, cuts over in, into the other cameras. So generally the audio has already much improved on the Insta360 ONE RS, because we have now one up in the top and we have two in front where on the Insta One R, we only had one in the top and then one in the front. So they added an extra microphone at the front there and that has improved quite a bit. They've also improved in the software, like there was a software update at the start of 2021 that improved the audio on the One R massively because you could actually start and you can add the gains. So um, the other thing that has changed, so with the Insta 360 One R, we had this little audio adapter. And this little audio adapter is proprietary to Insta360. It is actually proprietary to the Insta360 ONE R. Uh, it doesn't work in the RS. So that basically what you do is you, you, open, you open the side door here and you plug this in and then you can have a microphone mounted, a lavalier or wireless mic or whatever mounted to your Insta ONE, One R. The downside of this is that you can't charge um, the, uh, the camera at the same time. The other thing is obviously is that everything here is exposed, so uh, it's not precisely waterproof. Um, so with the Insta360 ONE RS, if you want to use an external microphone, the same thing applies. So you open the little door on the side here, okay. In this case, you actually give it a little pull so that the door comes off. No worries, that goes straight in again. And they've created a new audio adapter. It has a 3.5 millimeter, nope, has a 3.5 millimeter on the top and it has a USB-C connector on the bottom. And it plugs straight in here. And it's not waterproof, but it certainly is more likely to keep out moist out of the connector and everything in there. The other thing is now you can have a microphone on this and then you can have um, you can charge the camera at the same time. The other nice thing that they did was is this little cold shoe here that is meant for the case but it actually also fits on top of the camera so you can actually use it even if you don't use the case if you use the boosted battery which is what I preferably use and then you can mount um, something like the video go to from road you can mount that here on the top um, and you can plug this in and voila you have your microphone mounted now that that's why that is a fairly small microphone that's a bit big compared to the camera and there is actually a much much neater solution for the insta uh, 361 is and r and x2 and I'll get to that now. So take this off again, take this off again, Let me take the cold shoe off, don't need that right now. Take the audio adapter out and we close this. And now it's all protected again. And what is special with the Insta360 cameras is that they actually support Bluetooth earbuds. While that menu is called earbuds, it applies to all Bluetooth headset, uh, all Bluetooth devices with a headset profile. And there's a product out there called the Instamic. The Instamic is this little microphone here. And that's, this is fully waterproof. Um, and it comes with little different little mounts. Um, so, and it has its own little battery in it. And uh, all you do is you clip it on here, for example, with the magnetic mount, and that's it. And that will connect via Bluetooth with your Insta360 ONE RS. Um, and I'll go through the setup process and um, show how that works and give some audio samples for that. Take this off again. So now 
this actually comes with, uh, you can get five different little colored covers for this, which you just basically stick, stick around that. So let's take this one here, little black one. And obviously I want to get them in there with the, um, with that little clamp on because you can't clamp the, the magnetic holder on afterwards. Oh, I think I got the top in. Yeah. But patience, perseverance. Now pull the bottom one. Should practice this more. <laughs> so there we go. That's um, that's it. So as I said, there's five different colors of these covers. Um, so they um, basically put this back on here. Great. And if that now was in a similar color to my shirt, then this would actually blend nicely in. So that's whatever what that is. And the other thing that you can get for this, obviously if you're in a very windy environment, um, you can get these uh, wind muffs or dead cats. Okay. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's get to the sound samples. Um, and um, I'll show you how you pair this up with the camera and then you go from there. So um, you're launching the Instamink app um, on either your Android or your iOS phone. And what is important is that you select Bluetooth microphone, um, the hands for your profile and click OK. You then go and you select the microphone. In this case, it's Instamono is the one that I was using. Um, and that's it. And then we go over to the pairing process. So um, we're turning the camera on. Okay. Uh, no, not there. Go to the top. Go over here. Into the settings. Scroll up until you find AirPods. Connect to another. It then says, please press the button on the AirPods charging case uh, until the white light flashes. Then tap search to start, uh, uh, start search. Now, obviously, we are not going to pair AirPods with the camera. So when we do instead is we'll get this, this Instamix started up here. Okay, that's on now, and then we start search. Click on the Insta Mono. That's what I call AirPods connected. That looks that looks good, and then we go out to the main screen, and as you can see at the top, that's the AirPods connected there. Um, and with the Instamic then, you have to press once on the front to start sending audio from the microphone to the uh, camera. And the indication that you're now sending audio to the camera is the uh, indicator on the front of the microphone there, as you can see. So I'll turn this off again. mic off still shows the pods connected it will take a while to forget mm -hmm. that so what I do is I just uh, I just turn the camera off turn it back on again as you can see it hasn't it hasn't repaired so the other thing then is um, we'll go and we'll open this little side door we yank out the door. Um, one thing to be aware of is that the Bluetooth portion of the camera does not work in webcam mode. 
so that's uh, not working anyhow so yeah we put the um, And put the audio adapter in and I'll take the, uh, take the microphone and then plug that in and what you see now is you see a level indicator in the display um, where you can see the audio levels that only appears when you have an external microphone connected to the audio adapter so if I unplug this again the level indicator disappears again so I'll turn the camera off the audio adapter and to reinsert the little uh, cap as uh, stiff enough that you just basically poke it back into the hole push it down and then just uh, reseat the uh, door the battery door okay this is recorded with the internal microphone of the insta 361r just for reference this is a recording with the internal microphones of the Insta One RS. This is recorded with the Rode Video Go 2 connected to the new audio adapter on the Insta 360 One RS. The audio recording with the InstaMic Pro Mono that is connected via Bluetooth to the InstaMic. So that should give you a fairly good idea of the audio solutions um, that are possible with the Insta360 cameras. The uh, Bluetooth functionality is present on both the One R, the One X2 and the One RS. So that my, the InstaMic will work with all of them. There is one other microphone that I still need to do some testing with. I'm not quite happy with it yet. Um, but the InstaMic is a, is a really good solution. Now, the best quality you'll get from using the external microphone, like the Rode Video Go 2. The other option would be that you actually record audio with the internal microphone um, of the Insta360 and then use the uh, InstaMic as, as a recorder. Um, it can actually record internally um, depending on which version you have, the newest one is the InstaMic Pro Plus and that will actually record in 32-bit float. So that would be another possibility. Um, using Bluetooth, you are obviously limited to 16-bit. Um, as you can see here, there's five different colors of covers that you can get for it. And as I said, this would have blended a bit better in. Um, and they've made different mounts for this. So you have like this little clip here with the magnetic mount, that's one. Um, this just clips off, uh, so it comes off like this. And the other options that they've uh, done is a Velcro one. Um, there is one that's just with a 3M tape on the back. Um, and there's a GoPro mount where the InstaMic is mounted with a rubber band to the mount. And then they have two wind muffs, one in white and one in black. All of this equipment is my own. I've paid for this with my own money. So this is not a sponsored video and neither of the companies uh, of these products had input into this video. So I hope that this was helpful and um, I'll see you in another one. And if you like this video, give us a like and subscribe maybe to the channel for new videos that come up. Okay, bye.